lot of FSU alumni in town are excited about this one. There's a big game tomorrow night at Camping World Stadium. Really? Florida State Seminoles are back in the bowl picture, taking on Oklahoma in the Cheez-It Bowl. Yes, and some of those fans fanatical. Case in point here on the anchor desk. It's become a tradition, though, to hold pep rallies for the fans at Point Orlando. West Coast Dave McDaniel is there where the fans got to show off their pride. I've got my phone finger, Dave. We know. I'm sure, I'm sure you do. I'm sure you're as jazzed up as everybody else. You know, there were a couple of pep rallies here down at Point Orlando. First, it was the Oklahoma Sooners and all of their faithful celebrating the fact that they're going to be in the bowl game at Camping World Stadium. Then it was the Seminoles that took their turn, proving that there's a lot more to bowl games than what happens on the field or even in the stadium. It's a real honor to be here, yes. Florida State is used to football success. Fans have had a couple of years, though, waiting for the next bowl game, this one. We're excited to be in a bowl again and, and be talked about again and be relevant again. Oh, yeah, we're excited to be here in Florida. For the Oklahoma fans, it's a bowl game and a break from winter. It's been a beautiful time here. It was uh, four degrees without the windshield uh, last week, so uh, Florida is beautiful this time of year. There's something extra special about bowl season. The cherry on top for a successful season and for teams with a little history. The last time we played Oklahoma was for a national championship. It did not go so well for us, so we're hoping to get redemption this year. Revenge, you mean? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All the fans are ready, especially her, and I think one Stuart Moore is also also very ready and uh, will be settling in for kickoff. Reporting live at Point Orlando, Dave McDaniel, West News.